Hey there, YouTube. So this is Jamie Russell. I am a business strategist and Dubsado specialist who helps creative entrepreneurs conquer their business and dominate their niche. I'm going to walk you through it, the Dubsado Client Relationship Management System. This is a CRM that helps you do hashtag all the things for your business from invoicing to emailing, automated workflows to questionnaires. So, a couple of things. One, make sure you subscribe on your way down and hit that bell because I'm adding videos to this channel every single week. But also, I've included my setup guide, which is a part of this video. It's a 10-step series to setting up your Dubsado account. And we're going to talk about that during this walkthrough. Do, 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 do. Here is your red carpet walkthrough. So, we are going to just quickly go through the main features and some of my favorite features of Dubsado, how it's utilized, uh, how you would use it, uh, and what all is involved. So here is the main screen for Dubsado.com. Uh, you would start your free trial or you can schedule like a, an actual demo with them if you want, but they will give you a free trial for up to three clients. So they could last as long as you need it to, but once you get three clients, they ask you to pay. So you can start your free trial uh, you would sign up, put in any referral code you have. So if you want, you use Dubsado Masters. You'll get 20% off your first month or your first year. And then sign up. So do that to activate your trial. And then you're going to be taken to your Dubsado. So in here, this is your main dashboard. In the corner here is where you would find your brand settings. That is where you would go to... Um, adjust your client portal and connect your payments and your your Stripe and your PayPal and your email and all of that stuff for your account. So the brand settings is important. So make sure you go in there to your brand settings. And then over here you have um, a column that has all the different areas of Dubsado. So we're just going to go through all these different areas and I'm going to briefly discuss how to use them and where you can go for things and and what all is involved. So your leads and your jobs area is basically where you house all of your client information. The difference is, is someone who pays and someone who doesn't, essentially. Um, leads is just, hey, you're working on them, you're trying to get them through the door, and then jobs is like actual clients, projects. You can organize them however you need to. So don't get hooked up on the name, but this is where you would put that information. They also have lead statuses in here, so you can keep things organized, and that's just another level of um, how you can how you can operate those within Dubsado. Your bookkeeping is important for a lot of people if you are actually using Dubsado for bookkeeping. It has a full list of all of your invoices. You can look at every single transaction from a 50,000 foot perspective. You could export all of this data. You can do reports, profit and loss statements. It has everything you would need from that end. You can have a calendar in here or link together all of your calendars so that you can see when you're available or not available. You can see a master list of forms. That's not what I wanted to do. You can have a master list of forms if you're looking at it, trying to figure out what's been sent and what hasn't been sent. This is the easy way to do it and it tells you what's completed, what's there, what hasn't. There is a little bit of light project management right now as far as tasks and boards and to-dos. You can have them internally for your own business or you can have them externally to use for clients. Um, and just they're, they're considered Kanban style boards or Trello style boards. So those are in there. Your address book is really important if you're coming over from another CRM because you can import in all of those contacts and people that you've been utilizing or you could export them out as well. If you have a project that you finished, they're going to get archived and put that in your address book so that you can come back to them at any point in time later. So um, yeah, this is this is a big feature that people sometimes overlook. The time tracker is again another light feature, but you can track times on jobs and apply them to your invoices. And then you have your template section. The template section is basically your the template section is your master copy of everything. Until they actually get applied to your client, this is where things will live. They, you have to go into that section to change them. 
and then you have to apply them to your clients to actually utilize them. So you have your template section and then you have the actual client areas. So I'm going to go in and show you what like the client profile user interface looks like. So when you go into a, a client's profile, you'll see all of this information. You can custom map these fields so that they can auto-populate on your forms and your emails. You'll see all their invoices. You can track expenses. You can do reoccurring subscriptions. You have forms. You can add in one-time links or one-time forms just for this client. You can keep track of appointments. Automate your workflows, create workflows give them task boards, ask, add boards for yourself, or make notes. Notes are not seen by the client. They're only for you. There's a couple of other things in here that are only seen by you. And then the client portal. So you have a place to house all of the stuff for them to go and have one central location to find everything. So that is what a client profile looks like on the back end. Now, as far as where I was talking, like, you have to add the forms. You had to add the emails. Those master copies live in your forms or your canned email area. So in the forms, you have contracts, which is your main legal agreement between you and that, that client, your subagreement, which is any additional legal binding document. They have signature and initial lines in them. You have questionnaires, which is just that. They're forms with questions. Proposals are sometimes confused because people call them different things. They call them quotes, they call them order forms, they call them order sheets. Um, but really you could have them be a welcome packet, they could be an update sheet, they could be a weekly update, they could be a strategy guide, like you can add a PDF. Um, so like you can upload a PDF here that you're sending out if you have a pre-made guide somewhere else. Um, it could be used for anything. The thing with proposals is that you can have a three-in-one where it's a proposal contract invoice all in one step instead of having three or four separate emails. So, I'll, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute, but that was my selling feature is I wanted it all together. Then the lead capture form is what some people would more call like your contact form. And you don't have to have a website to use that. You can use just the URL link and send people the URL link and they'll be able to get to your contact thing. Your lead capture form is essentially the first step for any person wanting to work with you. Don't manually put them in here. Don't type them in. Get them the lead capture form and they can do it. And then it's all automated and they're getting everything and you're being consistent and you're delivering a consistent experience to all of your clients. So with your Dubsado account, you have access to a template library and they are adding to this template library. Um, every so often, but I know that they also do like a call out for forms every so often. Um, and these are, so these are built by actual Dubsado users. And you can come in here and preview any of the forms and add them to your account. What I will say is don't get hooked up on like, it says wedding photographer form. Look at how it's laid out. Look at the formatting. And then if you really like the formatting, add it because all the text, all the images, all everything can be adjusted. No one would ever know that you picked the wedding one. So look at how these are designed because some of them are really pretty um, and done really, really well. So, and that comes with your account. They don't charge you for those. They're not extra. So use those as a jumping off point and then you can create your forms. Canned emails can be branded. They can be for you. Um, they can be sent one off. They can be sent with forms. They can be sent in workflows. You can add a custom signature in here for all of your workflows as well. You can adjust any of your financial stuff, so like your tax items, invoices. You can adjust this template a bit if you want certain terms to appear on your invoice. You can make payment schedules with payment reminders, past due notices, have all of that the way you want it set up for your business, how it's outlined in your contract, and then the automation piece. Now, people look at this and they feel like if you're automating your business, you're becoming robotic. And that's not the case at all. You can choose what is manual and what's not. You can control every single aspect of these workflows. And that's what this whole Dubsado setup guide is about, is how you can control and deliver the best customer experience possible. Now, the last thing that I want to tell you guys about 
is just Dubsado as a community. So make sure that you are going in to the help area and going to the Facebook community and looking at the release notes and looking at what they're doing and talking to other Dubsado users. And then also this little bubble, like you can schedule a call with Dubsado. You can have them walk you through things. They are top notch for customer service, like par none against anyone else. They respond quickly. They will get you what they need. And oftentimes if they can't find the answer, they're going to sit there and figure it out because it, it, it's going to drive them nuts until they do. And I've actually had that happen where I've messaged them. And then a couple of hours later, they've come back and been like, hey, we found a solve for this. So it's not, they don't look at you as a number. They look at you as, as family and you can tell that in their company culture. So know that when you're buying into Dubsado, you're not just buying into Dubsado, you're buying into this company that is built with this foundational cultural structure of family. And they're listening to their audience all the time. They're doing Facebook lives, they're doing Q and A's, they're doing huddle meet and greets. Um, they're doing workshops, they're inviting in speakers and guest experts and doing so much that they don't have to do as a business, but they do it because they want to pour their lives into you and your business and your family. So there is Dubsado, there's the red carpet layout. Um, let me know what your favorite, favorite feature is, or if you have any questions about a feature, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Don't forget, this is a part of a 10 step video series. Go look at the other videos and leave some feedback and comments for other people to see as they come through and so that I can constantly be updating these resources for you.